Hi there, tutorial on PEP8 and uh, today I will show you how we multiply and divide by 2 and so let me start with the code um, branch let's say main and I will declare uh, two variables so x I will say num 1 will be log log 2 ik and num 2 dot log 2 ok so this is our main <coughs> and so how we do it let's start with the input so this is my input and um, x and then load accumulator x and then we can do the calculation so uh, let's say we want to multiply first so to do multiply we do asla and uh, what does it mean it's arithmetic operation so arithmetic shift left accumulator and this will multiply our value by 2 and we don't assign any values to it we just leave it like this and then we <coughs> can store the answer in y let's say and we will print out y okay so uh, stop and then end okay so when I put some kind of value so 5 and you will multiply by 2 it will be 10 uh, some kind of error decimal in error x uh, yeah because I forgot and um, I need to use num1 and num2 I always use I always use x's and stuff like this so sorry my mistake and num2 okay now it should work yeah so it's 10 well <coughs> what it does I'll go from the beginning so we branch to the main we input number one then we load number one we do shift left operation and which means times two and we store it into num2 and output num2 it will give us 10 so for example if I input 10 it will be 20 3 it will be 6 <coughs> this is the basic program for for asla so it means uh, multiply and then i will i will show you now how we do divide by there's two ways to divide we can either subtract from the number a couple of times or we can do asra now what it does is <coughs> it will divide the number by two so if i store it in num2 and I will say 5 it's 2 and what you may think why is 2 because pep doesn't print out point something point 5 or something like this it will not print it out if I put 4 it, <coughs> it will be 2 as well but if I put 5 or any odd number it will always be so it will be free not 3.5 you need to remember this uh, so when we <coughs> input some kind of odd number it will always go with the first number what we get so if it's 14 uh, let's say 15 which is how it will be 7 not 8 so it's not 7.5 something like this um, let's do for example now uh, one astra and two asla for example to multiply by 2 4 and multi and divide by two so I can do something like this and so asla and asla I will let's say store in num <coughs> num two D and then oh sorry num one and then I will just delete this one because I did it. Okay, and then I will need to load 
num2 and then do asra and then oh no I will just save as2 okay I will save it as2 so I will now load it and then do asra okay that should work so I do 15 times <coughs> wait 15 times 4 because it's 2 4 and next one will be 8 we go the same way as we do in binary so it will be 4 2 4 8 16 32 and so on um so this is 4 times this so 60 and time uh, and divide by 2 it's 30 that's how we use it and um, that's pretty much it about this I will oh, what can I show you else well show you the debugging for example and so this is what we have that's our program we can and um, we can do it step by step debugging so it will as you can see it will jump over here yeah then we do next step next step what is happening see all the values actually and at the end you will have I will need to I can make this bigger uh, never mind okay so that's how we do it this is the code and uh, this is the multiplication by four this is division by two and if I add another division for example it will divide by four so if I run this it will be 15 we can add many more if but that's only for uh, for numbers that are not odd so uh, you can't use it you can use it if you want for example to multiply by seven or, or five and yeah? let's say you want to multiply by five then you need to do something like this um, what will this do it will multiply by four and add number so add 15 <coughs> it works as like it works the same as it will be multiplied by 5 and so when I run this it's 18 let's me need to do this yeah so when I run this it's 37 because I multiply by 5 so by 5 it will be uh, <coughs> 60 no 75 and divided by 2 will be 37 okay I think that's it for this tutorial and um, look forward to the next tutorial I will talk about uh, a probably if statements so how we do them how we declare them how we use them and stuff like this it comes useful and um, that probably that is probably for this tutorial and I will see you next time see ya bye